So typically it's up to uh, the front end's job to correctly parse the data or the JSON uh, to be sent through the API. Uh, however, we know from your use case, um, we saw that Bubble doesn't do the best job of it. So uh, you had that form um, where your users are inputting text and sometimes they would use um, or may use double quotation marks. And that actually confuses um, the JSON, the way JSON is formatted and you were throwing an error and unable to um, post those responses. So uh, we can actually uh, get around this and I'll show you how. So uh, first let's jump into Bubble. And here in my design, I just have a very simple um, input field here and a button to submit uh, the actual text. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go into the workflow and all you're gonna wanna do here, um, I have this action set up. Um, but of course you have um, the input and then you're saying the value and then you're doing a find and replace. Um, so the text to find would be those double quotation marks and I'm replacing it by, um, you know, two asterisk stars here. I would suggest trying to find a character or characters that are unlikely um, to, be, to be used uh, if you want to uh, go ahead and transform those back into double quotation marks. And the way to do that is if we go back to Xano here, which I had open. So in our post API that's posting this text field back, if I go into this add record function, um, where I'm taking the input, I'm just doing a replace filter and you can just click add filter and type in uh, replace here hit replace and then you can search for those same characters that you're doing the find and replace in bubble and just replace it with um, those double quotation marks so i don't need to save this because i already have this set up um, and that will allow you to correctly post those double quotation marks and even transform it back uh, to be saved as um, those double quotation marks like the user intended so let's go ahead and preview this And once bubble loads here, uh, you'll see my input here. So I'll just go ahead, I'll start with some quotes. This is maybe just a test. And then maybe I'll put one asterisk at the end. If I were to put two, uh, because of how I set it up, those will be turned into uh, double quotes. But if I just put one, it won't be. So let me go ahead and hit submit. I don't have this page going anywhere. Um, let's jump back into Xano and I'll show you the database. And if I go into the response here, um, and now we see, um, here's our response. This is just a test and it has those double quotation marks, um, like we wanted. So there you have it.